Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more of the long dark right now. on the interloper mode. Thanks for interrupting me, Jennifer Hale. No time for BS. <laughs> let's uh, let's get out of this trailer. We had a big issue with cabin fever, and if we notice, we still have a forty-eight percent chance of it, just because we've kind of been around cabin fever for quite some time. Uh, we do have a little snow shelter over here that we can probably rip down if we want to. We are a little bit winded, so not the best right now. We could probably sleep for a little bit longer if we wanted to. In fact, we have a couple of calories. I may even do that. In fact, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go over here. I think we still have some, like, reclaimed wooden stuff like that. Yeah, we'll throw down another two hours worth of fire here. We'll go sleep for maybe another hour or something. Use this inside of our little cubby. 10 degrees Celsius. Not too shabby. Go ahead and click on our bed roll. Oh, we can even sleep for two hours if we wanted to. Um, okay, I have an idea. Let's do this, but I want this fire to be around for at least that long. So there, there's another, another 30 minutes of fire on there. It'll still be around when we wake up. Off we go to La La Land for two hours. Hopefully we're not dead when we wake up. I don't really feel comfortable going any longer than this. So if you're ever wondering how well the snow... The snow shelter works. Well, here you go. Works pretty damn good. 14 degrees Celsius down here right now. Not too shabby. Pretty thirsty. If we wanted to, we could probably brew up some water. I don't know how much we have right now. Eh, a kilogram. After we drink this, most likely. Maybe a little less than a kilogram. Let's take a look. Uh, one kilogram exactly. Wow, could I have called it any more... <laughs> could I have called it any more appropriately? From here, we could break down our little fortress that we have. Which would be pretty good because we need to start get... We need to get moving, essentially. So, that's probably what I'm going to do. How do I want to do this? We have a couple of pieces of coal. We have one more piece of reclaimed wood. I'm going to add this. 58 minutes on the fire. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this. Takes 20 minutes. Gives us a bunch of sticks and a couple pieces of cloth back. We're going to be starving, but that's the way of it. Take a brand. Let's go back over to the interior of the Hibernia area, which we left a couple of things inside of here. And then we're going to move through the mines into, back into the connector, and then hopefully back into the coastal highway. And that is going to be our setup point. Now, I do want to go back into Pleasant Valley for a couple of reasons. Let me see here. There's all kinds of stuff we have here. Let us grab the pry bar. Do I even want the hammer? We don't need the hammer. How do I feel about this? We don't need the hammer unless we're going to be making more stuff. So I may just keep this here. And then we'll come back for it. Uh, scrap metal we don't need. We do want all of our various books though. Another hacksaw. Another two hacksaws. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick this crap up just to kind of get it out of the way. Of course. Of course we're going to throw down the, uh, <laughs> the brand. Why wouldn't I throw down the brand? Okay. You can see, fairly encumbered. Let's drop all of this. Get rid of all that crap. That leaves us with, eh, still quite a bit of weight. Wow, we have three hacksaws, man. How do you like that? And then, of course, we have our improvised knife, our improvised hatchet, and then two of these pry bars as well. Someone had mentioned, if you just keep walking away from a wolf, it won't mess with you. So we're going to go and try that as we head on out of here. Again, I'm leaving this mallet behind because I don't think that there's any reason that we're going to need it. God, I hope I'm right. Let's GTFO and move over to the mine area. Little winded, totally warm though. No big issue there. Now it's just a matter of whether or not we can get past any possible wolves. And whether or not we can get to the mine entrance. Now, going down that mine will get us almost to the end of the zone. I may even grab another brand. If I can get one. Take a look around here, too. See if there's any wolves. I don't see anything. So, that's pretty good. There's a deer over there, as well. There is a deer over there, as well. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. Now, we need a lot more wood on us, which we don't have right now. 
So I'm gonna head toward the mut. Really? Big ass bear just sitting there, huh? Sure. Of course there's a giant bear sitting there. Let's go inside of this. Uh, two degrees Celsius, huh? Perfect. Well, we may have to wait a second while this bear friggin' buggers off. Keep walking, bear. I'm curious what the interaction of bears and wolves are. There's been times where I have heard the wolves, like, appear like they're running in fear. And I wonder if that's because a bear is present. I'm gonna let that bear walk a little bit further. Eight hours of daylight. So we're doing pretty good as long as we push on through. Okay, I think we should be good to go. I'm also very impatient, but you all probably know that by watching me play for a while now. We have some sprinting ability. So there is that. And I think that there's also a vehicle up here that we could use if we had to. I'm gonna kind of like hug this side though. All we have to do is make it to the mine. If we can make it to the mine, we're gonna be fine. Well, that rhymed. Make it to the mine, we'll be fine. Passed over here. Right around here. Right. Okay. Bear's kind of looking at us. Don't worry, bear. I don't want any part of you. Don't, I don't want no trouble. Don't want no trouble, bear. Oh shit. All right, well, well boys, here we go. Oh God, oh God. Oh, the bear's on our tail. I'm pretty, I'm not turning around. I am not turning around. We're just running, we're just running. We are just running. Run, 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 and safety. Okay, well, that was enough to make me pucker in ways that you don't wanna know about. Oh, look at it, it's all of our uh, green birch saplings. The birch saplings uh, are what we use to make arrows. And I think each sapling makes three arrows, if I remember correctly, unless things have changed, and I don't think that they have. Just gonna check underneath this metal, this metal uh, shelving there. Now, if we find some pieces of coal like this, I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. And while we're at it, let's see how far into the mine we can go with this fire. Because we're going to need one anyway. So right about here. Now we don't have a ton. Let's use some of the newsprint. What the hell? We don't have a ton of wood. Um, at all. So. Let me think about how I want to do this. Let me think about how I want to do this. We have a lot of. We have a lot of matches though. So again, we could be using the way that the one viewer described where you light the torch and then you kind of use the torch to light things up, but we're kind of low on torches right now. Now we could, hopefully we'll be getting a lot more torches as time goes on because we will be getting, we will be getting um, much more oil from doing fishing. And I'm really looking forward to that. I think each gut, makes, I don't know, two fishing line, is it? I want to make some snares, too. Perfect. One piece of reclaimed wood. That gets our fire starting abilities up a little bit, as per usual. Take this brand here. Grab a couple pieces of coal. Let's keep moving. In fact, I'm going to sprint through here a little bit. Now, I'm pretty sure... Ooh, we can get a lot of stuff over here. Ah, we pushed through here big time, and we did not take any of the time to look around. Oh my god in heaven! Boys, we just hit the mother load! That right there was a fire starter, and I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. We have a fire starter now. We're gonna do whatever we want in life. So, that's not what I wanted to do at all. That's what I wanted to do. It's, it's kind of funny how when I want to do something, like it doesn't work. Uh, yep, we'll go ahead and use our hatchet here. I'm gonna get a couple pieces of this. Uh, yep, a couple pieces of this as well. It is gonna wind us a little bit, but I think that we'll still be okay. Go ahead and grab a drink real fast. Getting low on the water. But, what can you do? Now, we are going to be way down a lot more than we were. 
Um, so let's go ahead and follow the little bit of light that we can see. Reason why is I'm going to make one more fire. And I'm going to... Oh, let me use my hotkeys. Got to learn to use those hotkeys. Four for the fire. Right over... Here we go. We have a 69% fire starter, man. Pretty cool, huh? We also have a lot more fuel now. So let's go use one of these books. We got 100% chance of success with this fire starter. Each strike of the fire starter, if I remember correctly, brings it down by 2%. Now, I don't want to go all using this willy-nilly and everything. On, but I do want to start this fire so I can grab another brand. But the other reason I want to start this fire is to get some more water. Because we are kind of low on water right now, and I don't feel super comfortable. I'm not worried about our tiredness, because if you remember, we have a crap ton of coffee. So the coffee we can use to jack us up nice and high. So from here, we'll throw on two pieces of reclaimed wood. We will melt eh, another liter of snow. That should be enough to get us to where we need to go. Now our daylight is going down kind of heavily because we're doing this, but... Another leader here. And I don't know, man. Do I want to take one of the coffees now? Eh, I don't think so. Let us grab a brand and continue moving on. Here's our little cave in over there. I'm going to sprint now and again just because if we do have to drink the coffee, we can. There's a lot of coal, by the way. Over in that crate right there, if you saw it before. And that fire striker was in that crate right there. Very timely. Very timely. Pack is getting too heavy to carry. I'll grab another piece of coal. I imagine that our encumbrance is getting fairly significant. There's coal everywhere here. So again, I had mentioned this before, but if you were ever strapped for coal, all you have to do is head into these mines. And there's two mine entrances throughout the zone that just interconnect to the zone. And then one mine entrance that brings you into the uh, connector. That Lamenter's connector or whatever it is. Let's see now. I can't remember if we went down here or not. I'm just going to give it a real quick check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. And there we are, man. Very, very quick mine. You know what I mean? You, you get out. You get in and out very, very quickly is what I'm trying to say. So over here, a locker that we haven't gone through yet. So let's take a look. And I already see some stuff over here. I can see a little bit of newsprint, which I will take. I don't mind that. Inside the crate, nothing at all. Underneath the shelving, nothing at all. Hmm. Um, I think we can actually break down tables like this, too. Yeah, you get a little bit of cloth from it. A lot of time to break that down, though. A lot of time to break that down. A couple more crates over here as well. All right, man. Let's go ahead and leave the mine. We're going to push on. All right. Now we're going to want to hug pretty well to the zone here. Oh, you know what? I need to get a bunch of sticks. Just because if we need to make ourselves another uh, outdoor fortress, we can do that. I call it like this outdoor fortress. Like it's this amazing thing. <laughs> it's not really a fortress or anything. It's just uh, the snow fort. Now I don't usually go up this high. I don't even know if I can get up that way. Apparently I cannot. But I'd like to remain on this side, if at all possible. Can we go up this way, I wonder? I'm just kind of exploring a little bit, going ways I don't normally go. Now, again, I don't use a map. And that probably puts me at a disadvantage. But it's just a personal choice. If you wanted to use a map, feel free, man. Go right ahead. In fact, especially if you're a new player, I would highly suggest you do use a map. A lot of sticks here. A lot of sticks. We can get rid of that brand. It's not doing anything for us anymore. Now, I think... And I'm not 100% sure. I think... If we go up this way... I could have sworn that there was some... Um, some trees that you could knock down over here. You know what I'm trying to say? Some, uh, some saplings? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe I'm just missing it. Um, let's check our encumbrance real quick. Oh, wow, 41 kilograms. That is rough. And we can't sprint right now. Mm. That's something I need to take note of. 
Now, the only good thing is, is that it's not very cold outside right now. You can see negative four degrees, not bad compared to what we have done in the past. Not bad at all. Can I make it up this way? No, oh, apparently I can. Now, I don't know for certain, but I don't think that there's any wolves around this way. Again, I'm just exploring this area. This is not the way that we want to go at all. I just kind of want to come up here and take a look-see. Just to kind of see what we got going on up here. And like I had said, sometimes I felt like there may be some saplings up here. Now, that, this probably isn't the best idea I ever had. Because we're already fairly tired. All right, I'm done. I'm satisfied. Nothing up here. Oh, in fact, you know what? Um, I'm not going to do it right now. I was thinking about grabbing a quick swig of coffee. But I'm not going to do it right now. Mainly, we just have to get into the other mine. That will stabilize us. We'll be safe there. We'll be able to warm up. Not that it's very cold. But... Uh, this the, the temperatures can change very rapidly. You can see going between uh, 4 degrees Celsius and 6 degrees Celsius at any given time. All right, man. Let's keep pushing. Oh, wow. Rose hips, guys. I'll take that all day. I'll take some rose hips. I know you guys will, too. More teas when we need them. And in, in weather like this, rose hips are a welcome sight. A welcome sight. Just keep pushing on. If we see any reishi mushrooms, is so long as there's nothing getting in my way, I might grab those too. Pushing on through. Uh, things, everything's looking clear. Very good. We're gonna continue going up this in in this way. Uh, I'll grab this stick because it looked at me wrong. Oh man, I feel good so far. I think that's the mine straight up ahead. Couple of birds flipping and flapping around. We do want to get maple saplings, though. Because if we can get some maple saplings, we are going to be able to make a bow. And that's probably my next biggest thing that I want to do. In fact... In fact, hold on. Let me, let me see something. Let me walk up this way real quick. I just want to take a quick look, a quick gander here. Uh, a bunch of sticks, a bunch of old man's beard lichen. More old man's beard lichen over here, too. Negative seven. So, starting to get a little chilly. I'm going to grab some of this. Because this stuff is so light, you can never have too much of it. And three pieces of it is going to make us one more antiseptic bandage. All right, man. Keep pushing through. Negative five. Not, not bad at all. Everything's looking good, looking good. Got a lot of sticks over here if we need them as well. I think that we're set on sticks for the moment, though. I'm just looking as well to see if in the corner of my eye or whatever have you, I catch the visage of a sapling. Negative five. Again... I probably wouldn't do quite so much exploring if it wasn't as, quote, nice outside as it is right now. So, we have a lot of cliff faces, too. So, if we had to make a fire or something, we could get that going no big deal. All right, there's our mine. So, that's good. While we're here, okay, rose hips. I will, I will gladly take these rose hips, and I may take those sticks as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take these sticks. And then I'm gonna have a real quick look around. We are not freezing yet. So that is a thing. Let's, um... Let's walk around this side real fast. Sometimes, and again, this may be like the old version. I don't know about the current version. A lot of times, you would find saplings near fallen trees like this that are knocked over on their sides. So... Just kind of a thing to know. I'm just looking over the edge of the zone here just to kind of like take a look. Um, all right. Okay, I'm satisfied. I just wanted to get a little look-see. Kind of see what, what, what it looks like over here. We're getting to the point where we're pretty frigid. 
So let's go ahead and get inside. And we'll push through this mine. Well, we'll try. <laughs> Again, we're so encumbered, though, that we can't... We can't run. But... Alright. Inside the mine, things are going to stabilize. When it comes to the temperature, very happy about that. All this should be... We should have looked in here, and we did. So, this crate... We could break that down if we want to. Let's go ahead and get a fire started. As far in as we can get the fire started. I think right about here. Okay. Um, our fire starter, I'm not going to use that right now. I'm going to go ahead and use our wooden matches for this. And I'm going to hope that this stick catches on fire. If it does, that'll be pretty good. Now, if this fire gets started, I don't know. I may take down one of those crates just to get us some additional reclaimed wood. I don't really think that we need to be doing that right now, though. Like I said, we have a lot of weight on us. So, can you make a snow shelter inside of this place? I'm darn sure that you can't. Because this is considered inside as well, so that's the other issue. We do have to spend quite a lot of time outside, though, to keep our cabin fever down. Because, I mean, cabin fever isn't what it used to be. That's one of the things. When I... When I was playing, Cabin Fever was much, much worse than it is right now. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna heat up this cup of coffee. I haven't had coffee in quite some time. We're gonna do this real quick. It's gonna get us a little bit of our condition back. Where's the hot cup of coffee? There it is, hot cup of coffee. I wish it would show up differently when it was hot. You know what I mean? Because it really doesn't, and it's kind of annoying. So when we did that, you can see our tired meter moving up now. Kind of nice. While we're here, what else do I feel like doing? Let's uh, drink a little water, and then we'll probably boil another little bit. Well, we really don't need to boil that much water, man. Especially considering how much stuff we have on us right now. We could boil some teas if we wanted to. How much other packs do we have? We've got some rose hip tea in there, have you? Um, yeah, sure. I'll boil up some real quick herbal tea. That'll get us nice and warm by the fire. And that'll also increase our cooking a little bit, which isn't too bad. All right, fire. Go ahead and grab this brand. Not try and set ourselves on fire. And let's push on through. Still can't run because of our encumbrance level. I'm not going to go over there because I'm pretty sure that we looted that last time. And by pretty sure, I mean, I know that we looted that last time. Now, one thing that I'm curious about is if you can light a torch with a brand. I may try that before this brand goes out. I don't think that you can, right? Because you would need two hands. And I don't think that the game allows you to use both hands at once. So, that's probably not a thing. All right, man. Low bridge. I think that this marks right around the third of the waypoint. So we're not quite halfway there. When we get to the other really, really, really low bridge, that means that we're getting very, very close. But I don't think that you can make it through. Dying from starvation. That was the guy that we took a pry bar from. I don't think that you can make it through on one brand. So now I think that we looted over here. Yep, we sure did. That's pretty good. All these containers are empty. Very good. Just double checking that. Getting pretty far with this single brand. Tell you the truth, we might get damn close. Starting to go out though. You can see already it is kind of flickering. Once we get fairly close to the end, I'm going to see if I can bring out the torch. Man, we might make it. I might be a liar. I might be a lying bastard. If I am, that's going to be great because I had a viewer ask me, how do you get through this and not use matches? Oh, here's the big low bridge. And my answer to that was to use a brand. Get as far in as you can. Yep, we made it. I can see light up ahead. Get in as far as you can. Make a brand. And then just walk on through. Don't loot anything. And just walk on through. And you'll be able to get through on whatever, one match or however, however much it takes you to light up that brand. That's it. We made it. So sweet. And look at that. Our brand has a little bit of light left. <laughs> How do you like that? Man, more coal that we don't need, as well as some lockers. Okay, so here we are. We are fully warm. 
So I'm not worried about that. And in one second, we're going to leave here and we're going to be back in Coastal Highway. And we're going to head back to one of our uh, one of our areas that we have. Probably the Misanthropes Homestead because it's the closest nearby. All right, we're back at the connector. Now it's just a matter of getting through here. I think we can go down this way and not break our leg. Excellent. Now someone had said, hug the wall here. And we won't have to deal with wolves. I think I'm going to go ahead and try that. Negative 7 degrees. So still not super cold yet. Right now it's just a matter of survival. Not getting tripped up by wo wolves. And hopefully getting back with some daylight left. I am going to hug as, as much as I can here. I think we're doing a damn good job. Getting the wind chill factor down is really helping us. Going downhill is going to help us too. Because again, we are substant. Oh shit. Alright, we've got a wolf right there. Um. Here's a cave, which is fine. Nothing here with this cave. This wolf. Man, gonna start coming on down here, I imagine. Alright, crap. Let's, uh. I guess let's start this fire. For right now. Let me, get let me see if I can get this fire started. I'm gonna use this stick. And I will use my fire starter for this. So while we're here, we'll warm up a little bit. I don't really think we need to warm up that much. Oh, God. He Come is on. right there. Don't you fail me. Don't you fail me, fire starter. Oh, that wolf's drawing in close, man. These wolves will not leave me alone. We do have a stim pen as well. If you remember, we found one back in the... Back in the Lonely Lighthouse. And that was pretty damn fortunate. Boom. Got it. Let's go ahead and throw down a little reclaimed wood into the fire. There we go. Yeah. Bugger off. Jerk. Temperature. Wow. Minus four degrees, huh? I guess we probably could have went in a little bit further. Well, to be fair, we have a lot of things that we can put into this. I can put down a stick or two. Probably get the heat output up a little bit. This is fine. Going to get a little bit of our weight down as well. Can we add any coal yet? No. Minutes before coal can be added, 20. So there's that as well. How are we looking at? Eh. Let us brew up another cup of coffee, man. Brew up another cup of coffee. Push through. Crap. One hour of daylight left. Ugh. That is brutal. Okay. Oh, there's our hot cup right over here. 40 kilograms of crap. Uh, and there we go. We're back up to 29 total. Man, I do not want to have to sleep in here. I wonder. Can we put this in here? Uh, no, we can't. I didn't think that we could, but I was curious. Grab a brand, man. Keep going. Keep going. Don't you look at me, wolf. Don't shit. There goes our brand. So, that sucks ass. Um, I wish I had something better to tell you guys. I don't. So, we're going to pray to Jesus that we can get through here. And if we have a wolf, I'm just going to keep walking. Now, the only issue is, is that we've got a lot of wind right now. Oh, boy. A lot of wind right now. So, let me see if I can get past the wind chill here. All right. Go around this way. No big deal. Doing good. Got ourselves another burned out home, which means that I do believe we are getting close to where we need to be. That's the basement as well. If we need, if we need to, we can utilize it. But my hope is that we don't need to utilize it. Oh, it is getting chilly outside. Negative 18. Come on, baby. Keep pushing on through, man. Keep pushing on through, man. A little worse for wear out here. Oh, you bastard. I said we would get that when we came on through. Damn it. Hold on. How much meat is on this thing? Not much. How quickly can I get this stuff? Uh, probably not quick enough. Ugh. 
We need to get back to civilization. I'm stupid if I stay here and get this. Especially as screwed as we are when we don't have a place to sleep. If I can get a bedroll one day, I'd probably get it. So that deer is still there. If we ever come back through here, we can nab him, man. Keep pushing. All right. Round this little tree here. And let's see. Crouch down for this. We should be able to do this without twisting any ankles. Excellent. We made it. Okay. That should be the zone transference. We're still pretty chilled. But that hot cup of coffee is, ha is helping a lot. Less than one hour of daylight left. Come on, man. Get into the zone. Into the auto zone. Into the coastal highway zone. Almost there. There's the low bridge, too. That means that we're almost at the zone entrance, which is very nice. Very nice. I hate that I keep finding deer in places where harvesting them is a bad idea. <laughs> Now, to be fair, harvesting a deer is never a bad idea, but we're just in bad positions to be able to do anything with them. Negative eight degrees. Okay, that's not too shabby. Long, dark music starts playing for extra ambiance. Very good. Just kind of looking around here while we meander down the roadway. Once you're on the roadway, you do move faster, so that's a good thing. Someone else had mentioned that while we move slower due to the wind, the wolves do not move slower because of the wind. So that's kind of interesting to note. All right, man. Here we are. We made it. Now we just need to get to the home, uh, one of the homesteads. And we are moving very, very slowly because of the crap. Because of the wind. We do have a car over there, but that is not going to be warm enough. I can tell you that BS right now. Oh, getting getting extra cold right now. Winds are starting to pick up. Were I to say one thing about these winds picking up, it would be that it is not good at all in any way. Oh, wow. And we are, like, walking against the wind big time. Crap. All right. Let me see if I can go up this way here and protect myself from some of that wind. Oh, this sucks, man. This sucks so bad. But we've got to do it. And if I can... All right, I can't feel my feet. And if I can, I'm going to see if I can hop across. Jesus. All right. I hate to do it this way, but we're going to go on the road here. Haven't seen any wolf activity yet. I hear them out here, though. And we are moving very, very, very slow. And it is getting very, very, very cold. Keep moving. Can I get any wind chill resistance by this? Nope, sure can't. <laughs> so cold. So Crap. Cold. At risk for some hypothermia. Yeah, a little hypothermia never hurt anyone. Could start a fire out here if we wanted to. I think I'm just going to keep pushing on for right now, though. Because things are starting to calm down quite a bit. Let me check our hypothermia right now. 3%, only 21% risk for cabin fever. The winds have slowed down. This is hilarious. Usually, well, you guys know. Usually, the winds are picking up on me, man. They're calling me a jerk. Saying, oh, Gray, you thought... You thought what? You were going to come into the long dark? Huh? Get from zone to zone? Like it was no big deal? You must be freaking kidding. There it is. There's the island. Alright, let's see if we can get there. Hold on. Now, I'll be damned if there's not a wolf spawn around here. Oh, crap! A deer! Oh, shit. Okay, I just heard a wolf take out. Okay, we're going to do this. That wolf is right nearby and it just took out. If you heard it, I heard a little rabbit cry out in pain and frustration. <laughs> so, oh my God, we're going to go ahead and harvest this deer. In fact, you know what? This is a perfect time to end the episode. <laughs>
because we're right about out of time. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the long dark on interloper mode. Let's see if we can get this fire started, harvest a little bit of this deer, stave off the wolves, and make it back to Misanthrope's cabin. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy, much love, campfire is a go!